you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey hey hi hi my name is Keandra welcome and I just want to say good morning because it's morning time right now literally 106 right now o'clock in the morning I just got to my overnight here in Midway which Midway was not supposed to be my overnight tonight it was supposed to be in Columbus Ohio but that didn't happen. So let me go ahead and give you guys a little recap. So I blocked my reserves this week. So I'm doing six days. So I'm good for four days. So I commuted in on Wednesday, stayed in the crew lounge, and then I waited until like 2.30 to get called to do this trip and it was literally a dead head to work phoenix to columbus ohio but then the dead head that i was on was literally delayed an hour like we literally didn't take off until after like 52 minutes of being on the runway or a taxi whatever it is so I wasn't able to make that flight, so they had to deadhead me from Phoenix to Midway, and that's where I am right now. And I don't mind it, but I do have to get to the airport earlier tomorrow because I have to deadhead from Chicago to Columbus to meet up with my to meet back up with my trip that they have gave me. So not too bad so in all in total i have four deadheads for this trip because the last day the fourth day is just a deadhead back to denver and hopefully they keep me on so that i can work the rest of those two days so we'll see but yeah that was just like the whole nutshell of what happened today because like i literally got off my deadheaded flight and literally have to run to get to the flight that i was just on like the timing was just very weird but i'm glad to be here i'm gonna you know take all this makeup off and everything hop in the shower and get in bed and maybe see if i can get something to eat because i am hungry but this place does not have any microwaves in the room so that means i will have to go downstairs but we'll see but yeah, let me go ahead and give you guys a room tour. All right, so this is me standing by the door. So the doors are here. Then you have a mirror. And then you have the closet as well as in there. And then we first see you have the desk. I'm pretty sure maybe there's a fridge in here. Yep, there's a fridge in there. So yeah, you got the little desk. You got the couch and then on this side you have the bathroom so the sink and there's me again and then you have the shower portion and the toilet so yeah there you go and then when you come and walk you're meet it with the bed which I feel like this is very cute very cute and dainty it's like a whole like <laughs> i want to say studio apartment but not studio apartment because there's no kitchen but you get the gist though and and here is my little view so nothing too crazy we're just in a whole like little strip of like hotels so that's the view hey guys so it is around 2, 11 to 12, and I have a van time of 3 o'clock because I am dead heading to Columbus to start my trip finally. So, literally, I didn't do anything today. I got up around 9 o'clock to go downstairs to get some breakfast, and then came back up and then tried to take a nap could not go back to sleep so I was just up watching Charmed and then that's basically about it 
Alright, so here's my suitcase. Put all my stuff in here. Um, I already took out what I needed for today. It's all hanging up. So basically now I just have to put all the clothes that I took out yesterday. My bag seems extra packed today because really this is I don't know if it's gonna be able to close but hopefully it does because I'm like this is all the same stuff that I had in here so I don't know why it's not why it just seems a lot bigger. Mm -mm. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is my food bag. My fiance got me most of this food. Well, basically all the food that's in here. He got it for me. He went to the store because I told him, give me food that was going to last me and something that I don't have to put in the fridge all the time. So that's what he did. He went and got me all these different foods. So I have some ravioli, I have some mac and cheese, I have the roast beef, and I have some noodles, and I have some tuna, but I've never seen this one before, so this is like the lunch pack, but I do have like the other smaller tuna packs, yeah, so I'm gonna just pack everything in here with these, so these are good. And I've been carrying this energy drink around with me for like five weeks, no, three, four weeks now. Now I have some homemade banana bread that I made as well that I have in here. And then some extra Ziploc bags just in case. Then, yeah, that's everything that goes in here for now. Alrighty, so it is 2.40. I am all packed and everything and just ready to go. So, I feel like that's what I'm about to do. Just leave. I know my bus, my van time isn't until 3 o'clock, but you know, I always want to get there a little bit early. So, that's what I'm about to do. So, yeah. It check. <laughs> We are in Atlanta and we are delayed, but we just did our, I did my deadhead to Columbus and I met up with my crew and then I did Columbus to Atlanta and now we have Atlanta to Sarasota and so we're delayed like 40 minutes but I think our crews are coming back on, so yeah but it's been going so really good so far so yeah. Hey guys, so I am in my hotel for my overnight in Sarasota and the room is nice so debrief on today so like I told you guys earlier we did a deadhead from Midway to Columbus to catch up with my trip and then when we got there we stayed on the same plane and my crew just came on and we went from Columbus to Atlanta, Atlanta to Sarasota. And so now we're here. 
I do have someone in here with me, but I don't know if she wants to be on camera, but <laughs> let's see if she comes. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so this is my sister-in-law, Krisha. Hi. So yeah, so she's coming to stay with me for the overnight and we're gonna have some fun. Mm -hmm. Girl time. <laughs> Alrighty, so I guess that'll be it for tonight. We don't know if we're going to do anything tonight or if we're just going to wait until tomorrow, but we'll just see. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> okay, so we're just at the door. And then on the right side of the door, you have like the little living area. So... TV chair and the couch. Okay, and when you walk in, you have like this little microwave, the fridge, and like the sink. And there's me. Okay. We have the bathroom, which is a pretty big bathroom. The shower is nice. Yep. It's cute. And then you have a full size mirror. And then in here you have the bedroom. Pretty nice TV. And then you have the closet. And then the view. So, not me being lost trying to find the elevators over here. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got to the hotel and it's pretty nice. Like, it's big too. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a little room tour. I just finished my checks and everything. So, all that is good. So, yeah, let me show you guys. Okay. So this is basically what you see when you first walk in. So the door is behind me and you have the couch. Yeah, and like the artwork. This full little like kitchenette type thing with the refrigerator and the microwave and then a little sink and you have your little table desk area. You have this TV stand. Oh yeah, look, and I got my warm cookie. Like it's so warm, it's nice. Then we walk over. We have the bathroom. This piece. Okay, and then here's the shower. Everything's nice. Mm -mm. Okay, and then you come here. Here's the room. The bed. TVs. Then you have a little mirror. Okay, so then this is also what I wore today. Took me 10 minutes to get dressed today, so. <laughs> Alrighty, hey you guys. So, I just wanted to come on here and just let you guys know about what all's been going on today. Today has basically been a long day. <laughs> so, like you seen earlier, you saw Krisha. She's my sister-in-law, and she stayed with me at while we were in Sarasota, so she stayed with me. And basically, we just talked all night. We talked all night, so like we didn't go to sleep until three o'clock in the morning, and then we woke up around like nine, like nine to 10. Hey y'all, so I am walking to the shuttle right now. And I'm running a little bit late. It's like 8.50, but it's a long walk, so. But today, I called scheduling to see if they could um, combine my reserve. So we're gonna see if they can do that. But I still do have a deadhead right now that I'm about to do with my classmate. So they're both taking the same shuttle. So I guess I'm gonna meet her 
down there. But yeah. So I'll let you guys know what all happens because I have no idea what's gonna happen. So I'll see y'all later. been sitting in the Houston crew lounge for about like five hours now because my flight was delayed but I did dead head to Houston so I guess I've been here for like a good five hours and now I'm about to go to Harlingen it's an hour flight so but it's been delayed for like five hours so and I'm about to see now I'm about to head to the gate right now and see how it is. But yeah, I also didn't tell y'all that I did get oh, another three-day trip too, so that's what I'm doing right now. But I'll explain everything later when I get to the hotel. <sighs> hey guys, so it is 2.10 in the morning. Like, that is crazy. 2.10 in the morning. We just got to our hotels. I just did my room checks. And I'm going to tell you guys how today went. So, you know, I had my dead head to Denver from Phoenix. So, dead head, so Denver, no. Dead head was Phoenix to Denver. When I got to Denver, I called crew scheduling to see if they could, um, keep me out or put me on another trip i called them and i was on hold for like a good hot minute but that's fine because they were able to give me something they were able to give me a trip so i'm glad and so after he gave me the trip i had like a two hour sit so i had to sit in the crew lounge in denver and I was fine with that, didn't matter. So I deadheaded from Denver to Houston. And when I got to Houston, my flight got delayed by two hours. So I ended up waiting five hours in the Houston crew lounge to get on this flight. But this flight was only one hour. So we boarded at like 12, 12 o'clock, 12.08, 12.10 around that time. and. We made it to the hotel at 210. But it didn't take a while to get to the hotel though. So yeah. And then tomorrow I am actually deadheading again from Harlington to Houston. And I'm gonna be with the same crew that I was just with. So I'm gonna hang on there. And then I'm going from Houston to Jacksonville. And then I'm overnighting there. So this overnight is only 11 hours now. And then the overnight in Jacksonville is like 12 hours and like 30 minutes. And then we're doing some, I think it's three legs on go home day, but I get to Denver at three o'clock. So I'm fine with that because that makes me, that makes it able for me to commute. So I'm happy. So let me stop rambling and I'm rambling because I'm tired. So let me stop rambling and then I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. All right, so this is what you see when you walk in, you have my bags and you see all of this. Then when you turn to the right, you have the little bathroom area. So you have me. And then right behind me is the closet. So nothing too special, nothing too crazy. Then you have the bathroom, and then the standard tub, and yeah. so come back out, and then you have the full length mirror, here's me again, <laughs> then you have two beds, you have a little chair, a little couch, a little window, and then you have a full size fridge which is crazy then you have a microwave which we all love you have a tv so that's everything 
Let's see outside real quick. Oh. It's a balcony, so you have the door. Handle, but I don't. I don't know, but yeah, it's nothing too crazy. It's just a view of the tree, the palm, <laughs> the palm trees, right here. Yeah. And then, yeah, nothing too crazy. Good morning, peoples. It is 11 of 14. And I'm just now getting up and moving around a little bit. Do not mind the way I look. Um, I just made some oatmeal and it is cooling down because it, it's hot. But like I said, it's 11.14. I have a van time of 12.40. I'm just deadheading to Houston, which the flight is going to be less than an hour. So maybe I can take a nap, but maybe not. Usually I don't, so yeah and then after that i'm going houston to jacksonville and our that flight is going to be completely full i believe so and then after that done have a 12 12 hour and 30 minute overnight in jacksonville we're gonna see how that goes and then yeah right now i'm just sitting and chilling i really did not want to do anything since this was such a short overnight hey guys so i just made it to jacksonville and i'm in my room right now so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys we'll do the room tour real quick okay so when you first walk in you see all of this so this is the bathroom pretty 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 me shower and toilet my bags and then on the side you have the closet here's me again <laughs> and then as you see we have two beds and this room is conjoining sadly i'm by myself so i don't know who is on that side of the door but outside it's not much of a view, really. It's just of everything. And you got Waffle House as well, so nothing too crazy. So it's not much to say, but I am trying to see if I want to do room service or, or if I should just go downstairs and just get something to eat. I do not know. So I'm going to go ahead and change clothes and then see what I want to do because it's only 8 o'clock right now. So, yeah. So we are now in Nashville. We just came from Jacksonville. We switched planes, so we had the good 800. Now we're on the older version of the 800, along with all of the latches and everything. I just did my safety checks, those, and then the ones like down here. I just did those, and I put my bags up and everything. And so yeah. And so the crazy part is that I'm in the D, so I'm like switching crews every flight. But we are staying on this plane for Pittsburgh to Denver. And I just found out that all the pilots that I'm with, I'm gonna be with the rest of the day. So I was with them Jacksonville to here, and now we're staying together till Denver. So it's pretty funny. But yeah, so now we're just waiting on the crew. I'm just sitting here. We're gonna see what all of this down. But I'm excited to get to go home because these six days have been rough, but not too bad, but it's a lot. So I'm ready to go home. So let's see how this flight is. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I am back home. I can tell I took out my hair um, just a couple minutes ago. I took them out. So today is Wednesday, got home yesterday, and I just 
forgot to record or do like a whole outro because I was tired. But the last time you saw me, I was on the plane and we had just got to Nashville. We went to Pittsburgh and then we did um, back to Denver. Everything went fine. Everything was good. So nothing like too crazy, but those flights were full. So like I was saying, those flights were full, but everything went good. By the time I got back to Denver, we had a 10 to 20 minute like sit on the runway because our gate was like occupied. So even though we were early, we still had to wait like a couple of minutes to be able to get a gate. So I had listed for the 350 some flight, but since we were delayed getting to our gate, I wasn't able to make it, but luckily enough, there was a five o'clock one. So I was able to make it to that one on time and just be good and be able to go home. Got here around 7.50, eight o'clock, something like that, and just drove, got on the shuttle, got to my car and just drove home. And yeah, it was good. I really enjoyed my six days of being away. It was a lot. Like, six days is a lot. But in the moment, it doesn't seem like it's a lot, you know? But when I got home, I felt it. I was very sleepy, very tired. And I woke up at like nine o'clock almost 10 o'clock today and i went to sleep pretty early last night or well kind of early last night but yeah i'm happy and glad to be back home and be with my babies so yeah so i just want to say thank you guys for following along with my first six day trip like thank you for following along and if you guys want more of this just keep on watching and subscribe to my channel like the video and comment of course and i just want to say thank you all and hopefully you guys have a good day or night and i'll see you guys in the next one bye